Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to use the Design Space Exploration block to perform optimization studies in P7. In the first part, we will start with general idea of design exploration. Here, optimization approach of DSX block will be considered in details. Then we will switch to the demo case and learn how to optimize a geometry of high-speed rotating disk with respect to mass and displacement using design space exploration in P7. Let's begin with introduction. DSX block enables various design exploration studies. In this video, we will focus on the optimization problem. Optimization in P7 has the following advantages. Efficient solution of complex engineering problems with up to 10 objective functions or even more. Hundreds of design variables and constraints within limited computation budget. A wide range of easy-to-use in-house developed optimization algorithms with a minimum setup required. Automatic algorithm selection that allows users with no expertise in algorithms solve optimization problems easier. Robustness of optimization process to random noise and model responses, as well as to undefined model behavior. Parallel execution of optimization procedures allowing to reduce computational time of resource-consuming problem solution drastically. DSX solves a variety of design exploration tasks using design of experiments and optimization methods. Depending on the setup, Block might act as an optimizer or run a pure design of experiment study. Optimization is a process of finding the combination of model parameters' values, which leads to the best performance of model under investigation. Manual design optimization appeared at the same time as the product design itself. Design space exploration Block provides ways for automated optimization while developing trust in its results. Design optimization helps engineers answer the following questions. Which product design parameters are the best? How to improve product characteristics? How to decrease effective parameters variability on overall product behavior? Model performance is quantified in terms of one or several functions constructed from measured or simulated model responses. User can also impose constraints on such functions, so the optimizer would find a best solution with respect to those constraints. P7 provides a wide range of optimization and design of experiments methods. It allows efficient solving of engineering problems, combining strategies and switching between methods. The key to understanding optimization in P7 is that it does not require to select a specific optimization algorithm, but relies on the given problem description. The block's internal solver may implement a variety of optimization methods and algorithms, and solving strategy is formed automatically with the help of the smart selection technology provided by P7. The role of smart selection is that it performs intelligent problem analysis and decomposition, in most cases forming auxiliary subproblems for efficient solving. Smart selection then finds the best solver for each of the subproblems and manages solver interactions in the optimization process. Thus, often it cannot be said that a single specific method was used to solve a problem, since the power of smart selection comes from the ability to combine and meld different methods. Smart selection is based on number of variables in their type, number of responses in their type, and can be tuned with various hints. And of course, the experienced user may access of the internal setting and tune the optimizer manually. Surrogate-based optimization is a special class of optimization algorithms involving building and optimizing internal approximation models as auxiliary steps. Intelligently spends model evaluations budget and speeds up the solution multiple times. Especially for heavy simulation models with huge evaluation time. Allows solving large-scale problems effectively using unique implementation of multi-resolution GP. In-house developed design of experiment strategy, which respects as much feasibility domain of the problem as possible. The family of optimization strategies based on surrogate modeling is proven to be the most effective in many engineering applications. Surrogate-based optimization in P7 supports all types of problems, including multi-objective robust formulations. If some problem evaluation data is already available, it can be used in solving. The initial data can be used by optimization method in following ways. The incoming data can contain only values of variables. In this case, it is interpreted as multiple initial guess values. Optimization method will evaluate these points first, then use these results as the starting point. In addition to variables values, 
The initial sample can also contain either objective values or both objective and constraint values. In general, this is the same case as above, but optimization method will skip evaluations where results are already available. In surrogate-based optimization, this data will be used to train initial approximation models for expensive functions. The support for initial problem data allows to continue interrupted optimization or to improve existing solutions. Also, it can be used to select the best point from a sample or to check feasibility of sample points. In the latter case, it is recommended to enable the infeasible solution output as it will allow to discover points that violate constraints the least. It is of crucial importance to decide beforehand the type of study you are going to perform. In broad terms, optimization can be performed either locally or globally. Local optimization methods are characterized by the following property. For a particular design given initially, they reach a locally optimal solution located close to the starting point. The key feature of local methods should be obvious. They essentially stop searching at the first found locally optimal solution and make no attempt to establish the global optimality of the found design. Contrary to local approaches, global optimization methods always try to ensure that the found solution is globally optimal. There are several types of globalized algorithms. Simplest globalized methods just apply some local algorithm repeatedly, starting with different well-separated initial designs and compare the resulting set of locally optimal solutions afterwards. As a consequence, globalized methods of this family only slightly differ from local approaches. More advanced global methods, applicable in computationally expensive contexts, are those that utilize approximation models, surrogate-based optimization, SBO. These methods are quite different as they break the above investigation paradigm. Initial global approximation models of the functions are gradually refined in promising regions until the lowest allowed design space resolution is reached or the computational budget is exhausted and optimization stops. Let's consider the capabilities of design exploration for optimization in the following example. The design problem is to choose such geometric parameters of the disk that provide the best values of objectives subject to constraints. Disk geometry is described by four radii, R1, R2, R3, R4, and two thicknesses, T1 and T3. There are two objective functions to be minimized, the disk mass and its radial displacement. In order to prevent the contact between rotating and static components, the radial displacement is restricted to 0.3 millimeters. To meet the strength requirements, equivalent maximum stress cannot exceed 600 megapascal. Now let's see how to use design space exploration block as optimizer in P7. Open the design space exploration block. When configuring this block for the optimization task, we describe the problem by adding variables, response functions, and constraints and specifying their properties. Problem variables with their properties are added on the variables pane. In value, it's possible to set not only constant values, but also initial guess for local gradient-based optimization. Problem responses should be added in responses pane, clicking plus button or selecting add responses in the configuration tab. We have two objective functions displacement of the rotating disk, and mass of the rotating disk. And two constraints, stress and maximum displacement. So our responses type is minimization and constraints type is constraint. If it is known that the function is linear or quadratic, we can specify function behavior explicitly to improve performance. If the generic type is selected, no assumptions on function behavior will be made. We can find a detailed description of block interface in tooltips. By default, smart selection technique is enabled. If we disable the automatic SS approach, an optimization technique can be selected manually. Let's leave the SS for the moment. We can hint to optimizer on evaluation cost type or to simplify configuration in typical usage scenarios preset noisy problem. By default, all responses are considered an expensive and SBO technique is used in this case. If set cheap responses, an other optimization method will be automatically selected. Same changes will occur if variables have a large dimension. 
Let's delete the hint to have SBO and add for example a variable x, which is vector with size n. We can see the technique has changed. It happens because SPO becomes quite time-consuming in high dimensions due to the nature of the method. By default, number of designs is auto. Let's set the budget is 120. By default tab, ports and parameters shows only inputs and outputs that the block actually has. For instance, Optimal values of the objective functions, mass and displacement, have postfix, optimal designs. If necessary, all other properties can be promoted to ports at the block. The run options pane shows general block options, the batch size, or allowed number of CPUs. Batch mode is disabled by default. However, if your black box can handle several inputs at the same time, the batch mode can be enabled and batch size set explicitly. Let's save our settings. The DSX blocks configuration contains the problem description, but not the definitions of problem functions. Objectives and constraints are evaluated by another block, so an optimization workflow in P7 contains at least two blocks. The DSX block, as optimizer, and the evaluating block. Composite block rotating disk is a computational model. When running, DSX block outputs values of variables and receives evaluation results iteratively solving the problem and finally outputs the solution data. Objective functions, mass and displacement, are connected to the output port. Let's run the workflow. After the workflow is completed, the results will be available in the report in Analyze. For the comparison, let's disable Smart Selection Approach and set Latin Hypercube method. In this case, we will obtain a design of experiments data filtered by constraints and objectives. It's the most simple and naive way to solve optimization problems. For visual results demonstration, let's switch to Analyze. To start, let's select outputs that were received with Latin Hypercube technique. Drag result values to the main editing area. With the selected data, click 2D Plot button. We can see a whole area filled with the points. To add a new dataset, click Configuration button on the pane or select Configuration in the context menu. The first dataset is Feasible Design. Different markers, line types, and colors are available in this dialog. Let's click Add Dataset. In the drop-down menu, select Optimal Design for Mass and Displacement for the Latin Hypercube sampling. To change figure name, click General Settings. Insert plot name. And In save. The optimal points in this case are shown. Let's demonstrate the results of Smart Selection Optimization. Drag result values to the sample viewer and select 2D Plot. Click Configuration button to add optimal designs. Add new data set. Change color and insert a figure name. We can see the Pareto frontier as the result of optimization task. For the comparison, let's add the Smart Selection optimal designs to the first graph.
it's seen the difference in the results. We can choose a separate point on the graph, and the corresponding value is highlighted in the table. It's possible for all selected points. If necessary, such the function could be disabled by toggle button located in the upper left corner. We can also export all our figures to image file. That's it. Thanks for your attention and goodbye.